All right, I'm going to do a, a little bit of a homework, some of the homework out of section 2.1 in the book. This is number 23. So we're going to find this uh, the derivative using the limit. So let's do this. Uh, we'll write up here the definition. So it's going to be the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x. So this is f of x, and that obviously is going to go right in here. That's going to be f of x. And then x, f of x plus delta x, you're just going to put an x plus delta x where the x is in here. So it's going to be root x plus delta x plus 4. That's going to be this part here. And then minus uh, root x plus 4. Okay, so you see how that corresponds. And then there's a delta x in the denominator. And we're going to find a limit of this as delta x goes to 0. So there's uh, radicals. So the rule with radicals is you always uh, try the conjugate. So multiply by the conjugate in the numerator and the denominator. So it's going to be uh, radical x plus delta x plus 4. And then plus uh, radical x plus 4. And you're going to multiply it by that in the denominator as well. Okay, and of course multiplying conjugates, uh, it's going to be real easy. Uh, let's write it up here. So I'm going to take the answer and put it up here. So the radicals go away, and I'm going to get x plus delta x plus 4. So that's the first radicals. The middle terms disappear. They cancel when you, when you conjugate, multiply by a conjugate. The last term is just going to be it's going to be minus, and then parentheses, x plus 4. Okay. I'm not writing the limit up there, but, you know, eventually we're going to take the limit. The denominator is going to have a delta x in it, and then just leave this one in parentheses. So it's going to be root x plus delta x plus 4 plus root x plus delta, or root x plus 4. Right. Remember, pause here, you know, try to do this by yourself. So watch a little bit and then pause the video and see if you can do the rest of it by yourself. So now I'm going to get rid of this so uh, we have some room here. So I'm going to take this away. And uh, we're going to simplify. The numerator is going to cancel. This is going to be, make sure you distribute that minus. So the x's cancel, and it's going to be minus 4 to plus 4, so the 4's will cancel. So what's going to be left is just a delta x in the numerator, a delta x in the denominator, and then this other stuff in the denominator. And that's where the actual answer is going to come from, right? That's what we're actually you know, seeing in what's going to happen. Okay? And we're going to take the limit here as delta x goes to 0. So the delta x is canceled. And we end up with 1 over root x plus delta x plus 4 plus radical x plus 4. And now we can actually take the limit. So once we get rid of this delta x in the denominator here, it won't make it 0 anymore. And this right here, we can now make go to 0. So this delta x right there goes to 0. And we end up with this. 1 over, and we have two of those radicals in the denominator, x plus 4, plus radical x plus 4. So the answer is going to be, so you know, we, we let the delta x become 0 here, so this term just disappears. We end up with 1 over 2 of these radical x plus 4s. And that's our answer. So that's the derivative of this uh, f of x radical x plus 4.